Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Now today we're going to be reacting to Frankie Boyle, Best of Audience Annihilation Part Ugh. Yeah, so this was recommended by one of you guys, so um, I hope that you guys enjoy it. I don't know who this man is. I assume he's a comedian of some sort. Yeah, he's a comedian. I've seen him uh, around. I haven't watched any of his stuff, but you know, his face is definitely recognisable. Um, I do watch a lot of like, stand-up comedy, but I'm also the American side, you know. Uh, Chris Rock, George Carlin, uh, Dave Chappelle, that type. I'm not really into any of the British comics. I watched a little bit of Michael McIntyre back in his heyday. Uh, but other than that, uh, not much. So it's going to be interesting to see a little you bit. You missed that Boyle. Bill Burr. Yeah, I, I, well. I used to listen to a lot of Bill Burr. Not so much this year or like turn on of last year, but I used to listen to Bill Burr a lot. And his podcast. Yeah, his podcast is amazing. Um, Yeah, so this should be interesting. So without further ado, let's just get what about you, man? That's a rather strange fucking injury you've developed there. What happened to you? I think he's Scottish. You bumped yourself. <laughs> that sounded awfully deliberate there. <laughs> bumped myself. How did you burn yourself? I got burned a lot, right? You got burnt? Now you fucking changed your story. <laughs> fucking one call to those fucking no fees lawyers and suddenly you got burnt at work. <laughs> yourself you're gonna fucking fold in the witness box like a red hot mars bar oh. what happened to you um i work for a company that makes a lot of hot shit and uh you work for a company that makes a lot of hot shit oh. well i can see this starting to come together like the start of an episode of casual is <laughs> how'd you put your elbow in something hot i just kind of brushed against it and i was fucked i just brushed against it and i was fucked <laughs> So it's a lot of to Scottish people, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't really get us in those kind of 999 rescue shows that America has, you know what I mean? I was driving along and I just kind of fucked the car into a tree. <laughs> I ended up fucked, the car was fucked, uh, the tree was fucked. <laughs> Thank God there was no hot shit around. <laughs> I just jumped down and rammed my fucking elbow into it like a man. <laughs> How you doing, wee boys? A fucking wee boy with a receding hairline. How you doing, Benjamin Button? Oh my days! No way! Three or something? What are you, are you a wee boy? Are you a fucking sort of fresh-faced old man? What the fuck are you? <laughs> that would he be there? Dude! Fucking hell, you brought... I also found that weird when parents take their kids to these stuff. Don't worry. Your mum knows you wank. No! <laughs> Your mum wanks too. No! What? Way. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of asking for a Sometimes front row. Sometimes your mum wanks your dad. <laughs> this is looking so smug. The only thing they don't know is that you ain't thinking about your mum wanking your dad. No, that's sick. Mm. That is sick. Not literally like, oh, yes, oh, that's disgusting. Hackney. I had a wee look around Hackney today. Looks like a fucking holding pen for the Jeremy Kyle show. <laughs> How you doing, little fella? You've made a fucking effort. Looks like someone shaved a monkey and kicked it through Top Man. <laughs> You've gone for it with the hair here, haven't you? You look like a moderately powerful Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lovely bad guy. Look at the fucking Russian dolls there. <laughs> How you doing, big fella? How's life been since you played Mongo in the Blazing Saddles movie? <laughs> What did you do, big man? IT. IT. And you said that in a sort of, and my soul is dying <laughs> every time I sit in front of the computer screen. He looks like an IT. What about you, guy, Frodo? Yeah. What's your story? I heard you, Frodo. Because you look like you've had your ring destroyed. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, at this point, you're asking for it if you sit you in front You're a what? Photographer. You're a photographer? You're a trainee paedophile, sir. <laughs> it's 
Scottish people? <laughs> I love that to your Scottish people do where they think there's a lot more Scottish people in. Yeah, oh, we're surrounded. <laughs> Where's from, Scottish people? He said, fuck it. Oh, Paisley, he's, he's talked to you in shit town, talk trucks there. <laughs> Sorry, we've had a higher bet. What's brought you down from Paisley? A raft made from turnips. <laughs> I quite like your answer, drugs. I suspect that's your answer to a lot of questions. <laughs> what time is it? Drugs! <laughs> Fife? Who's from Fife? The Kingdom of Fife. <laughs> Whereabouts in Fife are you from? Kirkcaldy. Kirkcaldy. I have to explain this to them now. <laughs> Basically, Kirkcaldy, the town's pride took a bit of a knock recently when they found out that the people of Ethiopia were holding a rock concert for them. <laughs> so what are you doing in London? Working. Working, there's a dour Scottish answer. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna bleed the information out gradually, aren't you? Mm -hmm. A fucking human riddle from Kirkcaldy. <laughs> My first is in windmill, but not in canal. Mm -hmm. I work, but what do I work at? Guess again. <laughs> what do you work at? Consultant. <laughs> <laughs> Consulting what? Consultant. Do you want to go any deeper into the explanation <laughs> or are we just... Management consulting. Management consulting. What are they managing? Yeah. <laughs> are they managing to find you quite an annoying cunt? <laughs> hey man, what do you do? You're a stockbroker. What about you, man? You're a plumber. Fantastic. How do you know him? Plumbers and stockbrokers. Friends, what the fuck do you talk about? <laughs> oh yeah, I made, made quite a bit of money uh, short selling on uh, Nike today. Yeah, really? I broke up a big job in a toilet. <laughs> How you doing, fucking Gigantor? You alright, man? <laughs> this guy, you're just fucking looking at me like I'm a big sausage holding a microphone, aren't you? <laughs> How you doing, big fella? What's your role in life? Lawyer. You're a lawyer? Fucking hell. <laughs> what type of law? Property. Property law. Could you be more worthless? <laughs> <laughs> it's not often I'll say this. Not often I'll say this. But you should stick your face in a meat grinder and go and live in the woods. <laughs> I don't mean this to sound horrible, I really don't. But I could watch you being raped and not feel a no, flicker no, no, of emotion. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's deep. Why do people hate lawyers? That's not true, I'd be angry they weren't Cause killing anyone. Because they're divorced. Because they're divorced. Let's go. Let's go. Are you a weird looking straight guy or a really weird looking gay guy? I know you're kind of looks like that. I'm covering your face just to cover it up. <laughs> How much would I pay you? That was your fucking effort, was it? <laughs> when your mum gave birth, she shat you out so she could leave her pussy free for fucking the doctors. <laughs> Offensive. Hard time for getting your phone out, you dozy cunt. <laughs> Who from? Any idea? Just looking up and building your fucking cat started talking. <laughs> you got a blind face there, pal. If you held that expression for long enough in a hospital, you get fucking switched off. <laughs> I've heard a bit about Belfast. Apparently you have some religious worries over there. We, we don't really take any opinion of it. It's none of our business, to be honest. What brought you over? The ferry? <laughs> Working here? No, on the brew. On the brew? <laughs> what does that mean? That's the very popular. That's me, in the room there. <laughs> fucking 400 years on Irish immigration still a fucking issue for these people. I'll give you a job, man, because we might need to fight our way out of this fucking thing at the end, okay? <laughs> Got a girlfriend? You're doing fucking well for yourself, man. <laughs> Why do her parents just wish that you'd hurry up and murder her so they could grieve properly? <laughs> Why are you in tears every 
every time they see Shrek. <laughs> so it's two empty seats right in the middle. This is supposed to be sold out. Where are they? I hope they're dead in a fucking car crash. <laughs> He only roasts the guys, I noticed. Yeah, I was literally thinking that. Has he ever roasted women? And what are you guys Listen. here in your fucking waistcoats and your suits and... I mean, don't answer cunts, because I can fucking see that. <laughs> you don't fucking jumping about Glasgow in a fucking morning coat with a side pattern. <laughs> I once had people shouting me in this city from a moving car for wearing gloves. <laughs> gloves, you prick. <laughs> Fucking hell, are you on some kind of poverty safari? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Where are you from? Uh, Glasgow. You're from Glasgow? <laughs> Where the fuck about are you? <laughs> the fuck have you not been picked off? <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, Inside you. You're, you're from you're from Pollock? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? You quantum leaped here from an alternative Pollock. <laughs> Go to a stage now where people come up and talk to me in the street, and I fucking hate people. <laughs> Arseholes are attracted to me in the same way that a stork detective is attracted to a 2002 Celtic away top. <laughs> people come up to me and they say, Frankie, what should I do if an ex girlfriend phones me up and tells me that she's HIV positive? And I say, the trick is to always act surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and that is deep. Shall I tell you what I'm like, what I'm like, Johnny? I think I can explain myself to you. When I was a wee boy, a wee boy. my granddad used to take me up into the loft. Where's this going? He'd take down a chest they had up there. He'd open up the chest. Do you know what was in it? A mermaid. And he'd have me strip naked as a wee boy and make love to that mermaid on the floor while he watched for his sexual gratification. Now, years later, when the old bastard was dead, I went back up into the loft. I took down the chest and opened up. Do you know what I found in there? A dead monkey with its legs sewn together. Wait, is he taking the piss out of them? That whole thing when people say they saw a mermaid, but it was actually just a monkey with the, like the fish tail. But yeah. is this a story? You me of that monkey, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, he's wild. He's wild. But I understand why. Oftentimes, there are a lot of really good British comedians, but they don't really cross over into uh, you know the global stage. And I can see why there's a lot of references to the hometown that might not relate so well, even within Britain itself. I yeah. Know, I'm sure if, uh, a lot of the Cockneys won't really be able to r relate to some of the uh, Scottish references there, but I have a fair few good Scottish friends, so I was able to uh, pick a, a few of those up. But no, as he's, he's savage, obviously, is it? Uh, yeah, like, absolutely ruthless. Can comedy be like that these days? No, I don't think so. I think it's over. For sure. Ah, Honestly. Like the old... A rawness of it. Would you Good happily comedy. pay to be ripped apart? Um, Would you get offended at all? I think I'll be a good sport about it. The usual. I'll just be like, ha, 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 ha. Thing is, it's now just being on camera and then it's the fact that you're on camera. If it's like a non taped show, yeah, I think I'll be perfectly fine with that. But if I was on camera and knowing that millions of people are going to watch me get roasted, I think that's a little bit different. Yeah. I'm have to contact the production car and be like, yeah, can you guys remove me? <laughs> the data privacy only, so I might uh, might come to the offices for that one. But, uh, who knows? <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the person who requested, I hope you enjoyed our reaction. And if you have any more videos that you want us to react to, definitely let us know. Comment below. Yeah, and obviously like the video and subscribe for more videos like this. And we'll see you on the next one. Till next time. Peace. Bye.